starting this day off at 70.5 kilos, 155.4 pound, 11 stone, one. channel with your favorite youtuber i hope georgie boy so full day of eating i have just done my third injection which was in my left lap i did a second injection in my right lap and i was pleasantly surprised with how i felt the next following day i thought i'm gonna be sore as fuck after doing this because it's very like a tender area and it actually was was okay like i woke up the next day and had no problems at all quite surprising my delt was a lot sore than what my lat was we have a full day of eating about to go down i know you guys love a full day of eating i love watching full days but it's fucking weird right like you like watching people eat whilst i eat as well it's nuts i'm gonna break down the macros break down the calories we've also got a pool session today just gonna do usual georgia boy stuff so as always guys if you can smash the like button can we get a thousand likes on this video i'd really appreciate it and if there's anything you guys want to see drop a comment down below let's do this all day being with the georgie boy on week post show some elite seasonings you need on your egg whites this this absolutely bangs this absolutely bangs as well pink salt and your black pepper if you guys have been following the channel for a while you know about the microwave steamer so i've got 100 grams of broccoli in here i then put 50 milliliters of water in here salt and pepper bang it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and your broccoli is done perfectly get it from tk max shout out james holland said he got me back on it about a couple of years ago now fucking so easy when it comes to cooking vegetables little secret from me to finish off this wonderful meal we have here a little bit of this seasoning and just dabble it on top like that trust me just trust me on this first meal of the day 8 49 a.m so i still fast for about two two and a half hours upon wake that hasn't changed at the moment and i have right here two whole eggs the birth of brown ones obviously 200 ml of egg whites and 100 grams of broccoli i also have my supplements i will do a separate video going through the supplements i am taking however now that i'm using anabolic steroids i am now taking about 25 pills and what i am going to do for the video is i'm going to try and neck it in one go i've never done this before if i neck all these pills in one go you've got to promise me you'll drop me a like on the video if i don't you can dislike the video that's fine three two i'm actually quite nervous Fuck, that's a lot of pills going in my mouth Oh. Oh, fuck. Um. <coughs> oh, shit. Please drop me a like for that. That fucking killed my throat. Oh. Give you a live taste test. Nearly forgot about that. What does broccoli and egg whites taste like in the morning first thing? Delicious. Break. <laughs> Off they fucking go. <laughs> Off they fucking go. Straight on it. Around 10 a.m. I always go for a walk in the morning with the dogs, of course. They go for about two, three walks a day, if I'm honest with you. They're lucky bastards. Always keep water on me. These uh, applied nutrition bottles, very handy for when it comes to just being out and about and just flicking like that. Flicking it over, bosh. See, I do about still 10,000 steps at this point. Obviously, got dogs, so realistically, it's quite hard to keep them down. I quite like being out and about. I'm an outdoorsy sort of person. 10,000 steps is pretty easy for me, especially when you own a German Shepherd. It's quite hard not to do 10,000 steps. <laughs>
Honestly guys, it feels so good to get some energy back and to be able to play with these or I've not been able to do little things like this for a long time because I've you know not had the energy to do it or whatever. I'm actually really looking forward to building that relationship back with him because I must admit throughout the prep, especially with the back end, it was a bit more of like a chore. Like I was looking after him rather than him being my actual pet. I don't know if anyone could relate to but I'm really excited to kind of just build my bond back up with Diesel because I have missed him lots. And he's my uh he's my right hand man. Every video that I'm gonna have a coffee and I'm gonna try and fucking see if I can land it in the hole, as she says. Oi, hey! Every morning with my coffee now, I add some oat milk into it, because why the fuck not? I've been drinking black coffee for too long. Add a little bit of oat milk in like that, and then I've got these, uh, well, the missus actually got these flavor drops. See if that focuses, there we go. Dabble a few in there like that. And we can't forget, <laughs> we cannot forget, a straw. Save your fucking tea. A little taste test. Obviously you saw me just pouring the milk. I'm not tracking that. Fuck that. I've been tracking that sort of shit for the past seven, eight months. I'm just gonna pour milk in. So. Delicious. Love it. It is time for meal number two, which is 12.08. And this is going to be my pre-workout meal. It's in the freezer. So what I do is an hour before I have it, I put it in the freezer and it comes out. Guys, I'm gonna make a cream of rice tutorial video, but what I'll do is I'll link my old one up here somewhere. I don't know what side it is, that side or that side, fuck knows, you'll see a little tag. But I'll do an up-to-date 2022 version of how I make my cream of rice, because I always get questions about it. I've already said what my pre-workout is, it's cream of rice. I know you're looking at this and you're absolutely fucking frobbing over it. You'll be juicing over this very- look at that. I'm gonna make a video again, show you how I make this bad boy, but whoo -hoo -hoo, I've nailed it every single time. Oh, one gram, really? Fuck's sake. I'm not opening another packet just to get one gram out. <laughs> so we have 19 grams rather than 20 today. Free workout meal about to go down. Sitting in my favorite little corner here on the settee. George, you should sit at the table and eat your pre-workout. Fuck off. I want to sit in front of the telly. I like doing that. You're like, it's not optimal for digestion. I don't give a fuck, you know? I'm enjoying myself on the settee. Feet up, watching some YouTube. Anyway, 100 grams of cream of rice, 150 grams of blueberries. I originally used to have 200, but I found when I had 200, I felt like stomach full. Like having too much fruit in one go for me doesn't agree with my stomach. So I brought it down to 150 and I seem to be much better. 40 grams of whey, two grams of salt on there, and I've also got 20, well, 19 grams of 85% lint dark chocolate, which I'll have afterwards as like a, a little dessert. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. Who am I gonna watch on here? Oh, kuba has got a, oh, leg session. I'm not training legs today, fuck. Who am I gonna watch on YouTube? I always like to watch like vlogs or like what I'm training today. So I'm training deadlifts today. So if someone's got like a deadlift video up, I'll always watch like a deadlift. I'll show you what I watch when I get round to it. Cause I take about 10 minutes to decide what I want to watch. I watch like two minutes of it. I'm like, nope, don't want to watch that. My attention span throughout prep was terrible. I'd watch like 20 seconds of a video going, ah, fuck this. Anyone else get like that? Attention span whilst they're dieting just gets worse and worse. In the end, I decided to watch Train by JP's pool video and the deadlift today. I also forgot to give you a little taste test. Can't be doing that on a full day of eating. Ooh. Salty as well. Mm. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know I'm a big advocate of intro workouts myself. However, I'm always very open and honest in saying, look, trial and error for yourself, you know. If you don't get a benefit from it, if you think it's too much of an expense for the return, don't use it. If it isn't worth the investment, I would say, just now your pre, now your post-workout, now your stress, your sleep, your hydration, your mindset going into it, all that sort of stuff. Try and nail that as best as you can. However, if you are invested into the 1%, which I think most natural lifters should be, especially as a, as a natural, you want to get the most out everything that you do then this is a, a must especially if you're performance driven as well so if you're very invested into your logbook progressing logbook numbers overloading etc then i would certainly say an intro workout is, is is great for that but like i said and i'm always very transparent honest with you i could easily just go buy this off supplement mag now and use my code george 10 and you're gonna see massive results from doing this i'll, I'll be totally honest and say look you know it's not gonna make you and break you it's not gonna be the fucking biggest game changer you're not gonna wake up 10 pounds of muscle the next following day trial it see how you get on if you don't like it don't do it if you like it 
do it. Just out with the dogs after my pre-workout meal. I like to go for a, like a 15 minute walk, digestion purposes. It also breaks up their day as well because I don't like them sitting in the house for all the fucking day, you know. I, I don't know, I'm just so invested into dogs, it's mad. Fine, they can sit at home all day, but in my head I'm like, nah, they can't. They need to go out for another walk. Wanted to just touch upon pre-workout meals and what I would recommend. And that is basically something that's very easy for you to digest, that allows you to feel good, allows it to digest properly and allows you to train at the highest level you possibly can. I've had it in the past where I've had like a bigger pre-workout meal and it's just not sat well with me and I'm going into the session bloated and then that affects the session. You will know what it's like trying to digest food whilst training. It don't fucking work. You feel like shit. So as you can see, my pre-workout meal is the exact same in my prep as what it is in my off season. And that's just because I know it works well for me. So for you, finding something that works really well for you, that sits well, allows you... Jesus, Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, boy, fucking hell. Sorry about that, Diesel saw a squirrel and I went absolutely nuts, he's gonna kill the fucker. But yeah, like I said, just something that sits very comfortably well and allows you to perform that high level. Playlist down below, go follow it for some bangers. Wrecking my jeans, can't step on my feet. I don't play with beef, I turn up the streets. Lethal beef, through my jeans. One got nicked for the mash and two got nicked for the SMB. Out on the L with a blicky top. Gang, 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 Lucky gang. putting his burners would have been pissed with the gang caught up. Any, any, any old block we go, I know that gang's gonna turn it up. They play my juice like turn it up. When one of us lets this blick get blicking, you know that gang's gonna hit them up. Purple mouths like Donatello. Oh. Hello, you don't wanna hear this echo. You are you sure they are down for this game? Lord, the toys over here ain't Lego. Yeah, yeah. This ain't no average weed, this weed is far from mellow. Don't, 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 don't do verbs in the net. I know I'm fucking to them like hello. Hello. Bells come fat like Dino. He yep. tries swim and shit. Was speedos, should just should need a half a box of rich like should we shout money or tea for the reload? Yeah. All the bro M love giving me tits for him, I'll do it and stick to the G code. Like get slapped with a G lock. Bop. Flick check show man F or grab this mash and grab some levers. Grab it, grab it. Slap this one, best pray these shots don't bend like Beckham's. Nine out of ten men's bark back season trying to send man hell or heaven. Uh. Still trying to do it with one D. Oh shit, I meant D1. Oh shit, Been my oh bro shit. since late year seven. Bro's I heard that man try vile, we filled up the weapon, and jumped in the dings. Bow, bow, they all in denial and bucking to us, all salty like fish. Why? I don't need no busted wrist, I'll cut me a mash and bust this clip. I would. The other side, bunch of clowns, they see us and dash and still get ching. Slap that Z on the scales, slap me up on the scales as well. Wow. All of these wrist man take for the L man, do it in jail, trying to bust man's melt. Feds got a man, them going through hell, but not like the G's, you didn't get belt. In this rust got spiffy and getting no twos, no you can't inhale. Cracking my jeans, can't step on my feet. No, no. I don't play with beef. No, wait. I turn up the streets. Pow, pow, lethal B. Pow, pow, through my G's. One got nicked for the mash and two got nicked cause they SMB Free This round thing just getting me vexed fuck My white thing get a madness neck uh, This light E calm way too sweet but don't wanna fuck her fuck her friend But I'm in the bando that's T way If I get grabbed I won't speak like Phineas YPM trying to make me a million Kill man's clock when I'm trying to get Jillian All of these black boys run off with packs so I need me a white boy looking like Tintin More time I like her ringing So I ain't got time for a missus uh, yeah, my guys that's locked in the system Some soon home and some with a pigeon I was locked up boxed up rid it Now I'm fresh home with the money where is it? Bro, slap, bro slap two hit one, the cool one shit, stop telling them lies Anytime four don't bust them, man they cut like a bunch of flies I'm trying to cut man down to size, don't slip when sin squad's going on a glide They see tape in the block and immediately think that sin of them just passed by Who you think got down? Who you think got down? Who you think got down? Shh. You know I can't talk on that one, cause they got the man them locked in the bin They do Baby saw this dot, she weren't that shot, so I brought it in. I did. I Bo did. bought one and a guy with your up hop scotch when he let that rinse. Back in my jeans, I stepped on the, uh, the first day that I feel somewhat anabolic. My third injection today. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot fuller, a lot more pumped than what I usually would be. So only just getting started, man. This is only getting started. I'm fucking excited for it, guys. I'll show you around this gym in the next video. But honestly, guys, it's such a fucking sick gym. Um, you'll see it in the next video, a full gym tour of what we're playing with. Absolute belter of a pool session. I hope you enjoyed that segment of the video. Now, post-workout is a very interesting one indeed. Starting off with the cream of rice, I have 125 grams of the chocolate banana flavor from Complete Strength. Then I'm going to add 20 grams of the Perform white chocolate flavor into there. And then the second part of it is I've added 20 grams of the Applied Nutrition Isolate into this mug here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it into a whey sludge and I'm gonna pour it on top. The additional thing that's gonna go in here is raspberries and a 
rice cake, caramel, snacky jack rice cake. I'll show you what, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's fucking pengers. And this is the final masterpiece. It's actually my first time having raspberries, frozen raspberries before. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see what these taste like. Does it compare to the blueberry game? Cause the blueberry is very strong, but that, I don't know about you guys, but that looks fucking sick. First time trying raspberries ever. I don't think I've ever had raspberries. Mm. I like raspberries, what the fuck? Too good. That is one of my new favorite meals. Try it for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Oh. Mm. You can taste the white chocolate, you can taste the chocolate banana, you can taste the raspberries, and also you've got the caramel, snacker jack in there, and a pinch of salt on top. You can taste a little bit of saltiness. Next following meal, we have not 26 grams, but we have 100 grams. Raw weight jasmine rice. This is the stuff that I use. Yes, I know I can buy the big packets. However, I haven't got the space to put the big packets anywhere. At the moment, we're just going for the little 500 gram packets they sell at the moment, which are... Jasmine rice is my favorite rice. A little bit of salt to your rice. Hello, little one. What you got there for me then? What you got there for me? Is that your pig? Can I have it? Can I have the pig? Can I have the pig? Is that mine? Oh, you are aggressive, isn't ya? You? You're aggressive. Right? Blue Up Bookers are on. Please remind me in the comments down below to put the link in the description for these glasses. They're like $8.99. Do I think they're worth $8.99? Absolutely, yes. Try it for yourself. They help reduce, obviously, the blue light, which in the evening times slows the release of melatonin in your body. If anything, these are great for helping you fall asleep, potentially, at night. Enough fucking waffling. Ashwagandha, ashwagandha, I don't know how the fuck you say it. I take 900 milligrams of this in the evening time, so this is great for a cortisol management tool, so it help you relax, calm down in the evening times, which again can promote having a, a better night's sleep if you're more relaxed, your chances are you're gonna fall asleep. And then obviously, as you guys know, every carb meal that I consume, I have Glycomax. So at the moment, I'm having three capsules of the Glycomax from Strom, as you can see. Great down in a gob. I must take about 35 pills a fucking day. Right little pill head, didn't I? Goes in, seasoning of choice, of course. Boom, a bit of pepper. Some green beans the other day. So what I'm gonna do is just wallop them in there as they cook. And that's it. Right, so putting together meal number four of the day. Something about glass tubberware. I've realized that over the past like couple of months now that I really like eating out of glass tubberware. And even in your off season, one thing I would always say is that if you guys are struggling with your appetite, like actually make your food look presentable, putting it in a glass tub. I don't know why, like it just looks more aesthetically pleasing, which then automatically makes me feel hungrier, which then helps me get my food in. So 100 grams of, well, probably about fucking 90 grams after the steak that I've left that in, look at that. Did you tell me to wash up? Well, I don't know what you said. <laughs> I said better wash up. <laughs> of course I wash up. 5% beef mince now. So I was having 3% in my prep, but fuck that. Um, mango! Shh! I was having 3% in prep, but now I'm having 5 because 3% is just a bit ugh. And the ultimate combo to go with green beans, beef mince, and rice. Mustard and ketchup. You've got to have mustard and ketchup with. I'm not tracking my sauces because if I'm honest with you, I don't really care, um, as bad as that is. So that's that. And then we've got one gram of salt, which I'll dabble on just like this. A little spank of the salt in it, little bitch. Oh, I told yeah. you what I told you earlier. You know to do it on your eggs? Do that on your beef mince as well. Of course, I've got to give you a taste test. Nearly forgot. Jesus Christ. So, a bit of everything on there. Mm. Green beans, a little bit of crunch. Beef mince tastes a bit better than the 3%. Jasmine rice, really sticky, mustard ketchup combination. Very good, try it. We're back. Sorry for the background noise. The washing machine is on, but one thing that I wanted to show you was another supplement that I take about 60 minutes before I go to bed before my last meal, and that is the Dr. Dean's Sleep Stack from Supplement Knee. This is a great product in the sense that it won't help you fall asleep, but it will certainly help you stay asleep. And one thing that I noticed when taking this certain product, dreams are quite vigorous. Like I have some intense dreams. You know those ones where you wake up and like, what the fuck just happened in my life? Just flashes by, like what the fuck just happened? You think it's real? This is one thing that I noticed when I do take this. So it's only two capsules. Take that 60 minutes, we'll go to bed. And then I'm gonna have my last meal of the day. 
and then we're gonna go to bed, but <laughs> and then we're gonna go to bed. Greek yogurt. This is the one that I use. Look at that fucking shit in there. Give it a stir. That oh, it's fucking splooged everywhere. Double chocolate perform way. Absolute goat. I'm gonna mix 20 grams of that in here. Secret ingredient to this is, are you ready for it? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Some crunchy nut granola. Of course, gone for the hazelnut and chocolate one. This is my favorite. The annoying thing about this granola is when you get to the end, it's like all the sort of nibbly bits, which as you can see, I'm pretty much to the end of this now. And then 50 grams of that, just like that. And to complete this meal, this is the most, I wish it was this. I wish this completed the meal. This is fucking banging. However, something a little bit healthier, the almond butter. And here we have a very, very tasty, tasty looking meal. What is in this bowl? This bowl took me about five minutes to make. Usually what I would do is put it in the freezer for a little bit. I like it nice and cold at the moment. However, I can't be fucked to do that tonight, I'll be honest with you guys. So starting off with the yogurt, 200 grams of the 0% Greek yogurt. I will then pour in 20 grams of whey, which you saw, which I went for the double chocolate flavor. My granola on, which is 50 grams of the crunchy nut. I then will put my banana, which is 80 grams. So one banana, and then I shall sprinkle some almond butter on top of that. We cannot forget salt as well. One gram of salt on top of that. And that, my friends, is a delicious bowl before I go to bed. In the middle of the day, going down at 9.42 in the evening. So a bit of everything, a bit of granola, banana, whey, yogurt, oh, almond butter. Look at that. By far my favorite meal on the plan right now. By far. So I'm gonna end this portion of the video here. Next following day, macros for the total, 248 grams of protein, 430 grams of carb, and just under 60 grams of fat, which is roughly 3,268 calories for the day. That is my full day of eating, one week on my steroid cycle, one week post-show, well, one, one and a half weeks post-show. I sincerely hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, Comment down below vape. I know I shouldn't be smoking this, but it was just there for for, uh, for me to just do at the end of the video. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please drop a like. Please subscribe if you're new around here. We're trying to chase 50,000 by the end of the year. So if you could help me out, I would massively appreciate that. Lots of love, and I shall see you guys in the next one. What's the rich like? Should we shout money or tea for the reload? All the bro M love giving me tits for him, I'll do it and stick to the G code. Lack get slapped with a G lock. Flick shack, show man, effort, grab this mash and grab some levers. Grab it, grab it. Slap this one best.